recording. Okay, so when you've come around the top mark, you've set the spinnaker, you've got to get into your standard downwind position. So, in general, it's a good thing to be based here on the windward side of the boat. The helmsman may call for you to adjust your weight in very light airs, you might want to move forwards. But the reason for being positioned here is you can see what's going on behind you. You've always got to look for the next boat behind you, the next gust, and the next wind shift. You should be continually feeding the helmsman information. You know, there's more pressure coming down, the pressure looks like it's on the right. Keep telling him what's going on, where he's going. He's got to be looking where he's driving, not what's going on. So you're really driving the boat from this position. So, as you get towards the bottom mark, you've done the hard work. The next thing is to drop the chute, round up, and come up around the bottom mark. So that's what we'll look at now. When you get to the bottom mark, first thing to do, you've got to let the jib halyard off, because we put the fraculator on right at the beginning to pull the mast forwards. So now we let the halyard off, we take the load out of the fraculator, and we move forwards, and we disconnect the fraculator from the, the jib halyard. So we come back into the boat, come right back into the cockpit. So now you've got to prep as though you were about to go into an upwind stage. So normally we go jib up first, in the middle of the boat, and get that set off. So now you can come round, even if everything else goes wrong, you've got a jib. That's the most important thing. The next thing, start doing the tuning. So we want to go chocks back in, to start getting the mast in the right place, to keep it all secure, and to start getting into decent quality upwind sail.